Hi guys, it's Kate Comer in here with you with uh, one of these little books. I don't know what in the world made me think I could do two books in two days, even the small ones, because uh, this is really a very chunky little book. It's just full of pockets and envelopes and extra little books inside the book. Uh, this is the size that is about four by five, but it's a little bit bigger than that because all the pages hang over all the way around just at different lengths here and there. So, uh, I still have the other one in the works. I don't have it ready yet. I don't know when that will be. Maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, maybe the first of the week. I don't know. But here's number one. Um, this is, as I said, it's very, very chunky. Lots of stuff in there. Just tons of stuff. And there's a lot of reading material in this. This is not like the little four by five books or so, uh, give or take. Um, that I did, uh, I have done so many of before. Uh, those were really eye candy and they were uh, just little gift type books to whatever, you know, look through or give away or whatever, put in a gift bag. But this is uh, uh, just full of readings and poems and just all kinds of things. So let's get started. Here's a, a heart on the front. Uh, has some burlap underneath. That heart is just made out of three layers of um, uh, paper towel. I thought I would try and see how that does, and then I stitched around it, and it turned out really sturdy by the time I spritzed it with my stuff, and uh, then stitched around it, and then I've got a little piece of uh, quilt on top of that, and a little flower. Um, this book is just covered, it's covered in fabric, all the pages are covered in fabric, I love fabric pages. So let's just open it up and see what we've got here. Here's a little, uh, I like to put that between most of the pages in most of my books. And this is the inside. And uh, let's just take these out and see what we have in here. Uh, that's a little, uh, those come on a, a yardage at uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, it's covered back here. Uh, that's a pocket, of course, in the button. Um, let's see what we have. This is just a piece of tissue paper that I just tucked back there. And it's uh, coffee dyed and uh, distressed and all that. And this is the little reading I've done so many of. It says, do not grow old. That is foolish. And you know, it goes on and on. You've heard it read before. And I'm not going to take time to read all these today because I do need to read uh, to uh, start on that book. I mean, to uh, work on it. I've got about 14 hours in that other little book. and I still have uh, several hours to go yet. So these are not... Uh, you know, you can always count on me to go the extra mile. I never think a page is done, and I can't stand a bare spot, so I just go on and on with it. This is a little seed packet, and uh, I, I just put mustard seed in there so it would have some seed in there. So it does have seed in it. Uh, let's see what this is. This says, go pa plant the beans when the moon is uh, high, and you will uh, find that it is right. Um, and it goes on and on. Let's see. Uh, this is a little open. It just opens up and it says, Make your own kind of magic. And has the little chicken down there. I hope the lighting is okay here. Um, I'm in the kitchen. My husband is painting on the porch and I didn't want to be where I couldn't hear him. Um, he's done a, just tons of painting. We have barns and everything, and he's, he's well over halfway done. Okay, this is, I met a little elf man once down where the lilies blow. I asked him why he was so small and why he didn't grow, and, and that's a cute little reading. I've done that before. I am the creator of my own happy life, and that is, boy, that is the truth. Has a little tuck and a pin, uh, so you can get it in and out of there. Uh, this is uh, just layers and layers of uh, fabric and lace and burlap and uh, oh, there's an image there and uh, two or three layers right there and a button. Let's see what this is. It says, all things beautiful, all things bright and beautiful, all creatures bright and great and small, all things wise and wonderful. The Lord God made them all. And then that goes on and on. That's a reading a lot of us have found and read and heard and uh, whatever through the years. But uh, I wanted to put quite a few of those in here. And that's just a little image. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Um, <laughs> can't even think. But um, I do know what they are. I just planted some. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um Inspire, believe, dream, create, imagine, hope, and embrace life. 
believe the best, forgive the rest, and say I love you. It's got the little chicken on the back there. Okay, let's put this back. I like the little tucks between the pages. I don't know. It just adds something. I don't know what. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just me. And this is, uh, let's see, there's two or three layers of fabric here. Um, some fabric, some burlap, a big button. Let's see what this says. I don't even remember. It's a little uh, envelope made out of uh, a book page. And I don't want to tear it up. These are, you know, I got these little envelope ideas from Jenny Miller and how she gets all these tiny things in these little envelopes without tearing them up. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to have to make that one just a little bit smaller so it will come out of there. Oh my gosh. Yes, I will fix that. Okay, when you love what you have, you have what you need. That is so true. Love that. Let's just tuck that like that right there, and I'm going to fix that so it goes in and out easier. But it's just a little envelope made out of a book page. And this says, this is my happy place. Love that quote. And this says, Dust of You Must. And this talks about, uh, you know, the moms are so busy and the kids want to play, of course. And, um, you know, it says, Dust of You Must. But take time for the important things, too. For the highs and lows and moments between mountains and valleys and rivers and streams. And that just goes on and on. I love that. I, I don't put anything in these, of course, that I don't like, as you can imagine. Here's another little envelope. And let's have a word of prayer before we even try to get in here. Let's see. And this just says, live your best life. Oh, no, there's a bunch in here. See, I didn't even remember. I have spent hours and hours on these books. Okay, this one says, be your own kind of beautiful. Every day holds a possibility of a miracle. That is so true. Every day holds a possibility of a miracle. Every moment matters. I preach savor the moment, boy, I tell you. Live your best life. Okay, and then on that side it just says love, and over here it says collect moments, not things. And these are Grandma's secrets inside this envelope, because Grandma was a wise old girl, you know, and she had lots of secrets. Uh, that's why the world moved at a better, smoother uh, pace back when Grandma was around. I'll tell you, when the old time Grandmas were around, because... Uh, um, they just, you know, had different priorities and uh, moral standards and everything back then. Uh, this says, the most wonderful place to be in the world. The oh, most wonderful places to be in the world are, oops, and that's sticking in the way, in someone's thoughts, someone prayer, someone's prayers, and in someone's heart. And this is just a little tag. I just put love on there and put some lace under that love life on that side. A little piece of fabric on that side. I just have layer. Your hair in my scanner. I forgot to turn it off. That stays on 24-7. Okay, let's see here. Let me get this out of here. Every page. Hang on. Every page just has layers and I'm holding it down. Every page just has layers and layers of fabric and lace. And uh, this is creepy cloth under a lot of the things. You'll see it here. Uh, an image with some old roses. And this says, I sit beside the fire and think of all that I have seen of meadow flowers and butterflies in summers that have been. Uh, I love that. Uh, I love all these old-timey poems. I like for poems to rhyme, and I like for them to talk about old-fashioned things. And this talks about trees. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree, and we've all heard that one, too. So I'm not going to read all of these because I need to get back to work on the other book. But I wanted to get this posted because I've been promising it for two or three days. This is just a little bookmark tuck. I used to make calendars out of this uh, the image, and uh, it was uh, a refrigerator magnetic calendar and had the little calendar down here and a bow would go right there. But um, I just decided to put some in these little books, and they're just... Uh, uh, just like a bookmark, really. The most important work you will ever do will be within the walls of your own home. That is so true. This is an old quilt piece back here, and just some fabric right here, and some fabric here. And this is another piece. That's that uh, print paper from Hobby Lobby. And this is just an image, um, some roses. This is an image. That looks like that might be Cosmos. Put that back in there. 
Okay, and this is the bunny page. I put a bunny page in this book. I was hesitant to do it because uh, uh, Jenny Miller does do, you know, she has the famous bunny. But I've collected bunnies since 1996, and I, I have a bunny collection here at home, and uh, I love bunnies. We have bunny hutches that we make. Every time we cut down a tree, we make a bunny hutch, which is really just a, a pile of briars for bunnies to live securely in, and we put them up just in the edge of the woods, but um, within view of the house, uh, so they can hide in there and feel safe, and that draws a lot of bunnies to our yard, and they're always hopping around, and we love that. Okay, this is just a bunny, a grandma bunny, maybe. She's taking some food. Whoops, I knocked that, knocked that off. Taking some food to see somebody. That's just a little bunny in a cup. And this is a little bunny book. It says Bunny Love on the front. Let me just hold that. I go too fast, but I, I'm always rushing. This is just a little book of bunnies. Let's see if we can got it to get it open here. I should have made sure all these pages would open before I got in here. There we go. I don't have it much of a nail on any either hand. I'm a, I'm a worker. We are farmers here, and <laughs> we don't have the, the nice nails and all that. Some more bunnies. That's a bunny couple. I love the bunnies. They're, they're just warm and fuzzy to me. And there's a bunny hopping away. It says bunny love. So we'll put that there. Okay, let's see what this is. And this is uh, some fabric back here and then a paper doily and then uh, these little clocks. I love clocks, but I like the clocks with the old-timey numbers on them. So that's what I always use. And that says at the top, I love this. <laughs> Um, when the two ears are put side by side, it forms the shape of a heart. Now think about this. I hadn't even thought about this. Interestingly, interestingly, the word ear sits right in the middle of the word heart. H-E-A-R-T. The heart is the way, the ear is the way to the heart. So if you want someone's heart, listen, learn to listen to them. And if you want God's heart, learn to listen to him. Gosh, I hate that I'm stuttering, but I am so rushed. I know I've got to get that other book done. I love to sit in silence. I love to sit in silence beneath the shady trees and listen to the song of birds and to the buzz of bees. And that one goes on and on. Um, I, everything I have goes on and on, as you can tell. <laughs> I like stuff with a little bit of substance to it, no matter what it is. How much will you pay for an extra day, the clock man asked the child. Not one penny, the answer came, for my days are as many as smiles. How much will you pay for an extra day, he asked when the child was grown. Maybe a dollar and maybe less, but I've plenty days of my own. Then he says, how much will you pay for the extra day, he asked the time, when the time came to die. All the pearls and all of the sea and all of the stars in the sky. Boy, time flies, I tell you. And the busier you stay, the faster time flies. And uh, we are workaholics in Round Knob Canyon, I'm telling you the truth. But we love that. We don't like days where, uh, you know, the weather's really bad and about the only smart thing to do is just stay in the house and loaf around. We just don't, we're not loafers. We're, we're workers. If I could give you a gift, I'd give you love and laughter, peace, a peaceful heart, a special dream, and joy forever after. Okay, and this says, whoops, got to press that down. Savor the moments, it says. And this is a little, another little book here. It says, be gentle with yourself. You're doing the best you can. And then it says over here, when you focus on the good, the good gets even better. And that's true. It does. Focus on the bad. Bad is what's going to surround you. And if you focus on the good, the good is what's going to be there for you. Okay, let's see. A smile. A smile costs nothing but gives much. It enriches those who uh, give it without making poorer uh, those who gave. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm losing ground with the cataracts. They're going to have to go. We'll see. Uh -uh. I need to get back on the stuff. I've been so busy. I'd like to make a difference. Uh, 
God has given me a place on earth to be here for a while, and I hope that as I'm passing through, I'll make somebody smile. Uh, that's a little poem I have carried in gift bags for years, 20 years. I, always, I like to take gift bags when we're on the road, and I leave them at the table when we have a meal or on the end of the bed where we stay for the night or whatever. Uh, but I love that poem, and I always put that little poem in there. It just kind of encourages other people to hopefully maybe want to do the same. This is Little Cottage. I know a little cottage where everything's just right. And that goes on and on. And we're not going to try to read it with these old eyes because I forgot to put my glasses on. <laughs> Wherever you are, be all there. And that's a good quote. Uh, we're, we're uh, at least us, you know, we stay so busy. Now, my husband is very organized, has a very organized mind. But me, not so much. I, I get so many things jumbled up in my head. Um, and I can't sort them out in order, so I get a dozen things going at once, but it all comes together at the end of the day because I don't like clutter and I don't like mess. Okay, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. That is such a great, 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 great quote by Mother Teresa. This is just a little paper doily that I've tucked in here with this little tuck here. And this is the little quilt piece. Um... This is another little, this is a Sarah Kay image, and I love those images. It's just a little homemaker, and she's washing clothes in an old-timey tub, a ringer washer up here. I just love those, and I did a book of those earlier on, and that was the neatest book. Okay, this says, I'm a little prayer quilt to hold in your hand to help when trouble arises those things you do not plan. Hold me tight in your fist if it helps control your, uh, calm your fears and don't be afraid to use me to wipe away your tears. And then there's a little quilt piece um, tagged on to the bottom of that and I've got it pinned on with a little button and some ribbon. And um, okay, so that's it. That's the first book. All the information will be below. Uh, these books are just a little bit higher than the others that were four by five, but that is because these are actually cram packed. I mean, there is so much in here to read. Also, along with this book, since I haven't done the giveaway yet, I want to do. Uh, I want to put a gift in there for uh, with each one of these books when they go out this time. And uh, you will have a starter kit to make your own little book just like this. Now, everything won't be in there, but there'll be a little bit, your book will be in there, your pages, your book and your pages. And there'll be a little bit of fabric, a little bit of paper, some lace, some buttons. Uh, you know, it's a starter kit, it's what it is. So uh, each each one will have that. And those are selling on uh, Etsy, I believe, for about $20, $25, whatever. The, the kits. So you're getting that along with this book. And then I also have a couple of little uh, just gifts from me that I want to put in there. And they're nothing big at all. But I just want to show my appreciation for uh, everybody following me along. If you haven't clicked to subscribe, I hope you'll do that now. Just click below to, describe, to subscribe. And um, if you have friends that like this kind of uh, thing or this style, uh, tell them about the the Facebook page, Junk Journals from Grandma with Love, and about this uh, YouTube channel, and and uh, let's see if we can't get this thing going a little bit better. It's growing, and it's growing slow, but uh, it is growing, so, um, okay, that's it. i got to get on the other book. This one is for sale. All the information is below. Click on the link to go to my uh, Junk Journals from Grandma with Love page. Um, if you're not in there already, just click to, to uh, join, and I'll click you right in as soon as I find it. Uh, these books are going to be $50 uh, plus $5 shipping, and it is, um, uh, that will include the, the kit also in that and the two gifts from me. So that's it. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for your patience. So I'll have another book in a few days or sooner. <laughs> thank you so much, and I love you all.